It looks like the weather's shaping up for a weekend outside. As it has yesterday, the day before, the day before, and tomorrow. <laughs> this is a broken <laughs> record. I don't mind one bit. You know, we were there were times where we were stuck in a rut where it was cloudy time and time and time again, or cold over and over and over and over. But this is the kind of broken record I think we can all get behind. One thing that has changed between yesterday and today is the fact that we've lost a lot of that haze. In fact, we've lost just about all of that smoke from the Canadian wildfires. Instead, now a pristinely blue skies. And even though our temperatures have been a little bit on the cooler side, I don't think anybody's complaining here whatsoever. High temperatures today, upper 60s to lower 70s. We're at 61 right now, six, or 68 in Rockford right now, 69 in Rochelle. Notice how remarkably dry the air is. The dew points are in the teens and 20s across the entire region. That is abnormally dry. That will lend itself to quick cooling here later on tonight, especially as the winds diminish. Those winds have been a bit of a factor, 10 to 15, even 20 miles per hour straight in off of Lake Michigan. The wind will become a less and less of a factor, but I think the direction is likely going to be unchanged. We do see shower and thunderstorm activity here uh, off to the uh, south and west of us. Now, is that a problem for us here? No, because as long as we have a wind coming in off of Lake Michigan, that just fights off any sort of advancement of that uh, uh, unsettled weather. And so that keeps dry, comfortable air in place here, and it keeps us quiet for the foreseeable future. Overnight tonight, clear and quiet, a little bit on the cool side. Low temperature, 41 degrees. Wind out of the east, northeast at 2 to 12 miles per hour. Really, I think the beat goes on here, so no need to adjust any of the uh, outdoor furniture here. Don't need to cover up the, the cushions or bring them in as the sunshine that we're treated to now is to prevail for at least another handful of days. Hour by hour we go through time casts here. Nothing doing tomorrow, nothing doing on Saturday, aside from maybe just a few more clouds. Uh, overnight tomorrow or Saturday night into early Sunday, let's call it partly cloudy, but we do anticipate there being ample sunshine once again for our Sunday. Let's call Sunday though partly cloudy when all is said and done. No rain chances at least for the next five days, probably longer than that. And also, the, even though the temperatures will start to warm up, I'm not concerned about humidity being a factor at all anywhere throughout the upper Midwest or the Great Lakes. The beat will go on, and so that combination of uh, pleasant temperatures, low humidity, no precipitation means absolutely limited, if any, concern on the Skeeter meter. Mosquito activity uh, so far has been pretty quiet, and that looks to continue at least for the foreseeable future. Tomorrow we see temperatures rebound a little bit, 73 degrees, then 79 on Saturday, 81 on Sunday, mid 80s for Memorial Day, not a hint of precipitation uh, at all through the Memorial Day weekend. Then we're near 90 on Tuesday and we're into the 90s here on Wednesday and Thursday. Gradually the humidity will start to come up and as that happens we'll start to introduce thunderstorm chances into the forecast, but uh, overall this is incredible. Not I don't bad. remember a Memorial Day weekend that has been this stress free to forecast. I was going to so say it's sustained. rained in all the past years, hasn't it? it? That's kind of what it seems like. Yeah. And it, maybe we get one wet day for Memorial Day weekend, but uh, that, that's not even a remote concern this go around. What a stretch. Yes. All right. Thanks, Mark. Coming up in sports, it's clear skies and fast times at Eastern Illinois so far as the boys state track and field meet is officially underway. After the break, we'll bring you the latest from